there's a reasonably good chance you have no idea where this is. It could be Utah, Arizona, or perhaps the Gobi Desert, but it's not. This road leads to one of the more exciting journeys you could ever take, through an ancient land with some of the greatest archaeological treasures and surreal landscapes known to man. There's also a reasonably good chance you don't know who this is, but he's uniquely qualified to be your very special guide on the adventures you'll find within a place relatively few Americans have discovered. He is King Abdullah II, and you are invited on the royal tour. Here I'm taking you to perhaps my favorite spot in all of Jordan, the Wadi Rum or the Rum Valley. I, uh, I recognize it from the film Lawrence of Arabia. Yeah, it was filmed right here in Wadi Rum. I think it won uh, seven Academy Awards, including Best Picture in 63. Lawrence of Arabia loved this pink desert and these craggy peaks. He called the Wadi Rum vast, echoing, and godlike. taking you to a hidden city that was lost from maps for thousands of years. You might remember that the Indiana Jones film, uh, The Last Crusade, starring Harrison Ford and Sean Connery, it was shot here. Today, Petra is honored as one of the few protected UNESCO World Heritage Sites. I'm taking you to Aqaba, on the Red Sea. A couple hours north of Aqaba by car or a few minutes by helicopter is a surreal landscape. It's the lowest point on Earth, 1,300 feet below sea level. The water has a strange, oily consistency, but it does have special healing properties. I think Wadi Mujib is the hidden jewel of Jordan. Well, this is uh, the Prophet Aaron's tomb, uh, Moses' brother and it's revered by Muslims, Christians, and Jews alike. And the most important thing about Jordan, really, it, was, it is the only place where the prophets Moses, uh, Jesus, uh, and Muhammad uh, came at one point or another through Jordan.
when I tell people I'm coming to Jordan, half the time they think I'm out of my mind. They think I'm going to be taken hostage, shot, there's violence. Unfortunately, the perception of the Middle East, if something happens in one country, it means that uh, there's a travel ban on, on, on people going to anywhere in the Middle East. Um, if there's a problem or riots, as you just had recently in, in, in Cincinnati, it doesn't mean I can't go and visit Boston. I think the best line that anybody ever said was my mother. Uh, if it wasn't safe, I wouldn't want my son to be living in Jordan. And Jordan uh, is, thank God, the safest country um, in the Middle East. Why are we doing this show together? To be able to open people's eyes to what a, a magnificent land and uh, nation that we have here and the tremendous uh, surprises and treasures that Jordan holds.